I am Ashera and I am bringing you this experience today, as well as a brief message before we begin the questions and answers and the words from ones who serve. There has been much wisdom today in the discussions that has taken place. Much wisdom and each of you are probably feeling the same inclination to be reducing the amounts of things you read and reducing the amounts of things you listen to and see to be more <coughs> respectful of your bodies, to be more respectful of your minds, more respectful of your spirits. For as the energy rises upon the planet, every single person takes it in in different ways, do they not? And as they take this energy in, they experience it and express it in different ways. There are those who express what they know and from their 3D perspective, speaking as ones who know. And yet in your own discernment, you feel that these people are not from the highest, but are speaking what they know and what they see from their perspective. And if one thinks that there is only a small percentage upon the planet who actually understand, see, and know through the awakening process what is happening, all others are experiencing this in various dimensions, in various ways. Sometimes any of the ones upon this planet may be in a higher dimension, for they are in longer periods of happiness, song, dance, celebration. Those who have not had as much experience or are not as far along in this awakening process are pulled back into the 3D experience more quickly than you may be. For those who we speak to each week, through writing as well as through word and through the sounds of our voices, those are those who are moving into the higher dimensions for longer periods of time, playing in those, experiencing those, those in this room, those on the phone, and those who read the words, can sense more quickly when someone is coming from a different perspective than is what you resonate to. We know that this is taking longer than you expected. This is taking longer than we who have been planning this and are working on this have expected because the consciousness of the planet has taken turns that we did not see. Those who we have been actively, hmm, let's say, planning games against that we wish to take out of power, and they have done their deeds too in ways that we did not expect. But that does not mean that we have not continued the celebration. It does not mean that we continue to know that you are closer than you would ever know to this changeover. So we bring you that love today, the love and the sharing, that all of that, those things that you expect and that you feel, and that you see, and that you know, those are yours. And as much as you can, free yourself from those things which bring you back into a 3D perspective. For every time you can consciously do this, this will bring you more into the realms where you can make the world what you choose to make the world in. You will be reminded of the strength and the power that you have and that you are. And that you will come to believe more and more in the believing to see first. We give you our thanks. We know that you are keeping on. And we know that every time that we meet with you, things are different each week, each day, and ever, and ever more each month. We are going to step aside for the moment and allow the ones who serve to come through to share with you today. Thank you, and we will be together at the end. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Um.
ันนีปัดไมอุมมะอุมะอุม Greetings to you. Greetings. Good to be here with you again in this way as always. <coughs> We listened to your conversation earlier, and uh, in some ways this was uh, what you call uh, uh, planting the seed here. Because it is important that you look at this situation that you are in, uh, this uh, this illusion that has been created here, and you yourselves have created this illusion. No one else has done it. You have done it. You, as mankind, you as the collective consciousness of uh, man here, has created this illusion, and. Uh, There is much more to this, though, than you uh, be even begin to understand. In that, the entire solar system is also an illusion, as well as the galaxy and the universe itself, and even beyond that, it is all a part of the grand illusion. But that does not mean that it is not real for you. It does not mean that it does not have some sense of reality, because it certainly does. And as you get up each morning and you put your feet on the ground, you feel solid ground, do you not? That is not an illusion, is it? It is real. But yet, you are creating this every moment of your life. You are creating that which is your life ahead of you, and as you create this life, you are participating in this illusion that has been, uh, in some ways, uh, pushed upon you by others who have worked within this uh, to create this uh, larger illusion, you might say. So that is not to say that you are uh, in an illusion. Because you are creating this at all times, you are the creator. You are, you are the, uh, as you have said earlier, you are the God. You are God, and you have the creative ability of God, of the Prime Creator. Prime Creator put that ability into all of us. It is all part of the free will that we have. And you are each one creating your ex your existence in front of you, and to look at this as whether it is an illusion or not, or whether it is real or not, really does not come to matter here because it is what it is. And if you continue to go with the flow, as we have been saying, all things will take care of themselves. Now that is not to mean that you do not need to take action and move about and do the things that you have to do to live your life. Yes, you do. But as you are living your life, continue to know that you are the creator here, and all that you are doing as you are creating your existence in front of you, you are creating the new world, the new golden age that you are moving upon. That you are moving into the higher vibrations, and as you move into these higher vibrations, all is going to take care of itself. All of these worries, these concerns that you have here in this 3D world, all will be gone. All of it. So, have no fear here. Certainly, never. Anything that you hear or read about in your uh, internet and uh, all of these sources, let them come through you and move through you, and do not hold them in. Do not let them continue to uh, make the programming here, because it is it is not necessary. Just let it all go. And uh, be aware of what is happening around you and all of this, but let it flow through you. This is, this we cannot emphasize enough here for you to do this. Just let it flow. Let everything go here, and all will take care of itself. Okay. Okay. Now we would uh, answer questions here. If you have questions for mm -hmm. one who serves or Rashira. I have a question, Mr. Charles. Yes. What is one thing that we in this group can do daily or during each day that will help raise our individual vibration, group vibration, and collective vibration? Yes. Would you?
Would you like to start that off this year? Absolutely. Thank you. Dear Charles, seek joy. Seek love. When your thoughts are astray, it is hard to be feeling up in the clouds. Is that not correct? So as you continue to go through each day, choose to do things that bring joy to you. Perhaps that is music. Perhaps that is activity. Perhaps that is enjoying small ones or pets. Take time each day set aside for your joyful moments. Many people have joy they believe all throughout their day and that is beautiful and wonderful. For those who are continuing to tell you to raise your vibrations and raise your vibrations, how many people say how? Hmm. How do we raise our vibrations? And yet what we have shared with you is maintaining a level of vibration for longer periods of time and doing it consciously. And if it is to be consciously, it needs to be by choice, does it not? And so what we would say is find moments to set aside for joy. If you do not have joyful, truly joyful time in your day, find what brings that to you and set time aside each day, for that will continue to feed your highest selves in the most positive ways. We could go on and on about what would not bring you joy, but what we would say here is to set that time aside, at least daily, to make that choice to experience joy. And one who serves, you would share what? Yes. We would also add here that when you are in uh, situations where you find yourself uh, being somewhat down or something of this nature, simply look at what is uh, beautiful in your world. If you are outside, look at the sky, not at the chemtrails, do not look at that, but look at the clouds, look at the sky beyond this, look at the trees, focus on all of the beauty around you, see the beautiful earth that is here. And then if you are inside, See what is right in your life. See what is good in your life. Be thankful, be grateful for all that is there. And every time you do this, every single time you raise your vibration. So if you wonder how to raise your vibration, this is how you do it. You change your thoughts. Your thoughts become positive. You focus on what you are thankful and grateful for, and your vibration has increased. And the more you can stay in that, as Shira has said, the more you will move more and more into these higher vibrations and dimensions, and you will stay there longer and longer. And then the next thing you know, here will come ascension. This is how it works. Okay? Other questions here? Would you comment on Project Blue Beam from your perspective? Project Blue Beam is a shambles. <laughs> it is something that was a figment of the imagination of those that would create this. That of those that wanted to create fear and spread fear across the land. And what better way to do it than with a, uh, an alien invasion? Would that not spread fear everywhere? Yes. But because of this, this was not going to be allowed. And even though they know it, even though the, those that were going to perpetrate this type of thing, they knew it, they knew that this would not be allowed, they yet still persevere and try to uh, get in the back door and all of these kinds of things to keep this, this stuff going. But they are realizing more and more and more that all of their plans are not going to work out as they had expected. 
So there is no concern here whatsoever. When the aliens or the galactics show themselves, it will be real. And it will be after all of the fear is gone here. Okay? Yes. Anything you wish to add to this, Ashira? No, I'm, thank you. Any other questions here? I have a question about meditation. Yes. <clears throat> that is right up our alley here. <laughs> okay, great. So, I found myself having a very strong reaction to something over the weekend, an emotional reaction that uh, was very painful for me in terms of emotion, like feeling sadness and frustration and upsetness from long ago. It was a reaction from something that happened a long time ago. And I came to the idea that those programming, those things that, that are painful and that we fear are still embodied in us somewhat because of that reaction that I had. So I'm asking, and I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this, but I'm asking to let go, as you were speaking of, and, you know, let, let go and move toward more beautiful things. I believe that a concentrated effort in meditation to meditate on, on something beautiful each day would create the environment to let go. I believe that because emotion, we have such large emotional bodies as human beings, that it's difficult in the moment to become conscious of letting go unless we prepared ourselves through another avenue such as meditation. Would you agree with that? Certainly. Now, to look at the idea of meditation and what is meditation, and to simply quiet the mind and focus on your breathing, that in itself is something grand beyond what most people can do, or do do. Because uh, how often do you sit and just relax and Focus on your breathing in and out, as you have been taught to do, and be able to quiet the mind. I'm asking this question of okay. all of you. Okay. How are you able to quiet the mind? Really, quiet the mind? Or does the mind continue to chatter on? So this is the practice here. This is the practice of letting go. When we speak to let it go and go with the flow and all of these things, this is all part of this. To learn to quiet the mind. And when you can quiet the mind, then it opens up to the entire new worlds for you, into the higher dimensions, into the higher vibrations. As we said earlier, to simply look upon the uh, vista in front of you, your trees, your grass, your uh, flowers, all of this, that focuses on the beauty around you and brings it within you. And that is raising the vibrations. So yes, when you can, find the time to meditate. can be formal meditation or it can be just simply a few minutes of quiet time where you do quiet the mind and allow your breathing to take you. You see? Does this answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Anything you wish to add here, Ashira? Well, as we look at the situation with our sister Joanna, what we share with you is that there's an element of forgiveness in here that you mentioned. And what we see is that this is part of that onion peeling that each and every one of you has been going through. And sometimes it smacks you right in the middle of the face, does it not? Hmm. 
And yeah. you think, I thought that I was past this. Yeah. I thought this was no longer a situation that would capture my attention. And one of the affirmations we've given before is, I forgive, you forgive, we forgive. And in this, you release. And so if this continues to plague you, we would suggest perhaps that you remember that particular set of words. Because there is no blame. There is no holding on to this. It is a release mechanism that assists you. And this is a question that arises for each and every one of those in the circle. When again, the onion continues to peel down and you feel as if you are in a new place. You feel as if you are viewing things from a different perspective. And then something hits an old hot button. And you can take time in release and letting go. And the meditation practice as spoken of by one who serves is that time, that essence breathing in and breathing out and concentrating on that and allowing your mind to come to peace and release and forgiveness. Does that help? Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. The other questions here now. I have one. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Recently, I've been seeing 11-11, 11-11, everywhere I go. 2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, 3-3-3, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 4-4-4, 
who are sharing with you and are bringing you information at another level, but also presenting themselves so that you know that you are not alone, dear one, that you have others that are with you, opening that veil, showing you the direction that you are leading, and helping you to be at more peace. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And one who serves. And we would add here, uh, not for the, only the one who has asked this question, but for all who are listening here or be reading these words after, all of this is part of the changes here, part of the shift, part of the transition, moving toward ascension. So you will have more and more of these experiences of lights and uh, uh, seeming uh, movement uh, out of the corner of your eye and all of these types of things. You will look at the sky and see things that uh, someone else standing next to you cannot see. Because you now are moving to the point where you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. And as you are utilizing these, uh, this, this transition within you more and more, it will continue to develop more and more. So you will have more of these glimpses beyond the veil. You will have more and more of understanding of what is happening in the deeper levels of what is uh, occurring here. So that you can see beyond what others may be seeing or experiencing. And therefore then be able to assist them in understanding what they are going through. You see? Any other questions here? Cynthia, do you have a question? No, I think I'll pass today. Anything further here before we release John? I have a couple more questions. This is Charles. Yes. I have a mother that is uh, so deeply wounded from past traumas that she is stuck in her asanas and core issues. What can I do to help her? Sierra? <laughs> Charles, thank you for this, for this question. So many people have this question on their mind. And this one has not yet awakened to the same types of things that you are awakened to. But fear not. Fear not. She is on the path that she is on, and she will awaken when she is to awaken. And her core issues will be moved away from her in terms of being of concern to her. And you will see her filled with love and light. And you will know that the time was right for her to awaken. And you will then be able to spoon feed her that which you know. She will be like a child to you, but you will be able to assist. And to bring her into her fullness of understanding. And so we would say, be at peace, my friend. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Yes. One who Very serves. good. Any further questions here? I just have one more it's about animals. Yes. I've noticed that during my spiritual journey over the last few years, I've had some amazing experiences with very animals, even a beautiful rose-breasted cockatiel that's literally flown into our family's life. From the animal's consciousness perspective, what do they perceive and feel when this is happening? Mm, yes, I will take this. Yes. Charles, we relate to animals in the 3D world in a couple of different ways. For a dog is always going to be a dog. They are going to mark their territory and they are going to eat their meals with relish. And yet, there is this consciousness of each and every animal that is connected with all animals upon the planet. They have their own soul groups and they have their own connections and that is at a spiritual level. And so you, being one who is awakened to this, may be one who speaks to these creatures in such a way. If you open your heart and you bring your questions for, the, for these creatures and of these creatures, they can have deep conversations with you. We know that there are many upon the planet who have opened their souls to their people. 
And these messages that come through is very true that the animals have already gone through the ascension door. And so even as your cat acts like a cat and your bird acts like a bird, their highest selves are holding the doors for humans. And in some ways they, they laugh at the trouble that we have as humans getting through those doors. And the light is there. And the more that people are attuned to animals and receive the messages from the animal kingdom, be they fish, birds, mammals, any of the animal kingdom, they know in their heart that they are in your life for unconditional love, where they pour their love out upon you from the highest realms, and they, again, continue to hold these ascension portals open knowing that they are walking through those with you. And you will see your animals in very different ways as you move through that ascension process, and you will see that they are part of the overall plan and the part of the humanity that has made them, oh, servants, let us say, to man, will come to understand that they have done this, this kingdom, these kingdoms a great disservice, for they have been there to share with us in total love. In total. Does that make sense and answer question for you, sir? Thank you. Beautiful answer. Thank you. Yes. Any further questions? Shanti, I have a question yes. about animals. As well. um, in the morning, I every morning there is a family of possums at, on, at the office. Huh. And on the way back from work, there's always bunnies outside my where I live, but every day I have encounters with spiders. They are all over my little apartment, and I was wondering if the spiders uh, or these sort of animals have a message for me because it seems like every time I turn around, there's a spider. Well, we would ask you what that means to you. Do you have an impression about spiders beyond the, the, the sense of them being icky? <laughs> no, not really. I, I, I just uh, appreciate their company and, you know, we go have a but I, they just seem to be, um, oh, I, I, we seem to um, come across each other very often, so I, I was just wondering. We would share with you that, in particular, the spiders are natural dream weavers with their webs. And the spiders in the Native American culture have a special place because they protect your location, your home, your domicile. They are there for protective forces so that your dreams may be productive. And that while they are protecting you, you are able to do other things in other planes and dimensions. And so these are precious creatures there to share with you in a very special way. And the other creatures are there to continue to assist you with your connection with the rest of the planet and with all of the kingdoms that you might not become so focused on work or that work you even do for this group, but to remember that you are one of all with all on this planet. And to get that connection daily, twice a day, is to bring balance to your soul. And do you have time to stand barefoot upon the soil with them? I, I, I will begin doing that. We would suggest that, for they will commune with you and share of their messages for the future. But the spiders at the time had that to give to you, and they wish you to know that they will live with you in peace and harmony. Bless you. Thank you very much. Any further questions here? I have one. This is Diana. I yes. walk into work, and as I'm walking into work, the path that I walk on is just covered with birds, lizards. Mm -hmm. And I, I think to myself that they have nothing to fear. I'm going to walk through, and that I love them. But they do scamper away, but they don't fly. So my question is, do they feel my energy when I try to calm myself to walk through them? Do they feel it? Most certainly. Thank you. And we would add, Diana, that 
at times, if you have a little extra few moments, ask of them, do you have a message to share with me? Because there are times you are going to hear in your mind an answer, and it will put a smile upon your face. Thank you. That's you. Anything further now? Yes, I have a question. Yes. I have a sister who's, uh, my younger sister, who's constantly in and out of the, out of the hospital with her conditions. Um, would you be able to shed some light on what might be going on and um, what, um, you know, how, how I can be of comfort in, you know, in, in her condition and what's going on? Shira. Can you please say her first name? Shirley. Shirley. Shirley came at this point in time to experience this because it is a way of her um, peeling back her onion, let us say, for her to come to an understanding of various things within her own life as well as understandings for those things which um, did occur before. She is not accumulating new karma, but she is looking at these in ways that allow her to understand why she has been in this life and where she is going. We would say the best thing to do to support her is to love her, to be with her and embrace her, to assure her that you are standing by her, and that although you will not take this on for her, because that is not your role, that you are here to support her as she makes choices that she does each and every day. We know that is not a great deal of information, but that is what we see at this time. Bless you. One who serves, would Good. you see more? No, oh, that was sufficient at this time. All right. Thank you. Anything further here? channel now must release uh, what is your, the nature is calling here. <laughs> Before though we do, we just to share here briefly that uh, all is happening for a reason. All is a part of the greater plan. You are all a part of the greater plan. And there is no greater part or lesser part to play here. You all have your part to play in this uh, grand scheme of things here. So just do what you do each day, but find yourselves more and more moving into these higher vibrations and staying there longer and longer. And you will find as you do this that uh, everything is being taken care of you are being taken care of, that all is as it needs to be. And the more you move up in consciousness in this way, the more you will feel that way. And you will look at those things that are happening around you in the external world, in this 3D uh, illusion here, and you will realize that it is all part of this illusion. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Yes, and I would close to just to say thank you for the questions of the animal kingdom. We brought this up during the discussion and in the way that Susan was showing us today. For it is time to honor all of those upon the planet and to know your oneness with all. And to remember that those who are sharing the planet with you come here with the greatest intention of love and with their messages and their service to bring you to where you need to be as an entire human family. We love you, we give you our peace. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.